hi guys welcome back to my channel today as you can see i have this lovely bread in front of me that unfortunately went stale so today i'm gonna put it into use and make delicious bread and butter pudding but before we get to bread i'm gonna start with making my custard to make my custard first i'm going to need to warm some milk and some cream and I'm using two cups of whole milk and one cup of double cream. I never said that this is going to be healthy for you but it's going to be delicious. So we have those two and I'm going to just warm it up until it's slightly starting to simmer not totally boil. Let's put that on my hole. So my milk and cream is now warming up and now I can take care of my bread. I'm using the malted bloomer. I have eight thick slices and I'm using it just because I had it um, in my fridge. But uh, you can use pretty much any bread that you want. I wouldn't use something very seeded, very dense, definitely not pumpernickel or any that kind of bread. Something light that would uh, go well with delicate custardy flavor. So this is about 400 grams of bread and I'm going to cut it into a big cubes. You could leave it in slices and then arrange it in a baking dish but I'm going for nice big chunks of bread. So this is my bread cut up. I'm going to put it into my baking dish that's been greased with some butter. Here is my bread arranged in my baking dish. It seems like a lot but after it soaks the custard, it will slightly go down. And here I have 30 grams of melted butter. I'm gonna pour just about half of it on my bread. Let it get some of that lovely buttery flavor. I'm just going to mix this a little bit with my hands. So this is my bread ready to soak all the custard. So let's move it aside and finish our custard. So to get my custard ready, I'm gonna need three egg yolks and one whole egg. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of light brown sugar. I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla extract, it's about a teaspoon. In my bread and butter pudding I'm going for a cinnamon flavour, so like cinnamon kind of bun inspired thing, thing. so I'm going, in, going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon in here and a pinch of salt. Now I can whisk that together and now I can add my milk in that you could see it's just it's not cooking but it has those all bubbles around the saucepan so now we can constantly staring at our milking. Okay, now I'm going to pour all that lovely custard over my bread and let it soak a little bit. But I also forgot about my raisins, which are totally optional thing. I've been soaking them with some warm water so here they are it's about a handful of raisins i'm going to scatter them all over my bread 
so now I can pour my custard over the bread try not to make too much mess around me all the custard is in and we can wait for about 15 minutes till it all gets absorbed into our bread and after those 15 minutes I'm going to show you a few more steps to make it even more delicious so the 15 minutes been up and as I said there is a couple more things to do to make this bread pudding very special so in here I have two tablespoons of light brown sugar and as I said we're going with cinnamon bun thing to that I'm going half teaspoon of cinnamon mix 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 and you probably guess now that this is going to be sprinkled all over my bread and butter pudding so let's sprinkle it all over the top and you know that we've reserved some melted butter so we're going to pour it over now, 15 grams that we've reserved for later. This is now ready to go into the oven and I'm going to bake it in 160 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes. And I'm going to keep my eye on it because of the sweet topping, it can burn pretty easily. And if it does go too dark, too quickly, I'm going to cover it with some tin foil so bear that in mind if you ever prepare it and now into the oven it goes here is our bread and butter pudding I took it out in the last moment before it got burned but it's a total safe and I am going to put it aside for about 15 minutes and let it set a little bit before I'll serve it with a scoop of delicious ice cream but go ahead guys make it yourselves and serve it with whatever you want there are so many delicious options and enjoy and i will see you in the next video bye